Try to remember anytime they get their head really low, lower than your lower than your nose, they're they're susceptible to a guillotine. Okay, if they're if it's up here like this, you're gonna have a hard time because as soon as they feel you trying to put their head somewhere, they're gonna immediately resist. But if it's already there, it's you know it's just moving your body over the over the top of the, the head. Okay, and the way I like to do guillotines is uh, I capture the um, the chin, okay, and then I club the back of the head and I shoot it under here. Okay, if, again, it's really easy if his head's already there, right? Because I just grab the chin, I go over the top of it. Okay, so I don't have a lot to do with this hand here. But okay. you want to slam your chest against his shoulder. Okay, that's important because you want to cover the back of his neck. A lot of people leave a lot of space there, and that's how, how they escape. All right. um, so he's fighting me, and his head's not low. Because they don't they don't volunteer, they don't voluntarily put their head low, right? Sometimes you have to put their head low. So I'm going in for butterfly sweep and he's like, you know, pushing me away. If I see his knee over here, I can push at his knee. And he'll he'll pulse with his hand and he'll his head will come down like this. Okay? And you can do this whether you've got an underhook or an overhook, it doesn't matter. It's a different type of guillotine though. All right? So let's say I have an underhook. Typical butterfly, butterfly guard like this, and he's, uh, he's posturing up, right? Um, he's trying to get close to me. I got this hand out here, so he's not put, putting my back to the ground, right? And when I see an opportunity, I'm going to try to kick his leg out. You could actually sweep him this way too if he's not careful, right? Just kick that out, and then butterfly sweep. But he he posts, and his head's down again, all right? So as soon as he's in this position right here, see his head is lower than my than my nose. All right, you're gonna go over the top, grab his chin. Okay, now I, I have an underhook already, so it's not gonna be an arm and guillotine, it's just gonna be a regular guillotine. So from here, slide this from here to the back of your hand. All right, the way I like to do guillotines is like this right here. Like this, I continue to hold his chin, and then I cover the back of my hand here. Okay, I don't go deep like this. I try to stay right here because what that does, if you continue to hold the chin with like a chin strap and wrestling you, if you continue to hold the chin, it keeps your wrist right where it's supposed to be to cut off the circulation of his brains. But it keeps your wrist right where it's supposed to be. If you slide it through, then it becomes more of a air choke. Blood choke will take maybe less than five seconds. Okay, I know this from being choked out. And I know this from choking other people out. <laughs> it, it, it's very, very fast. Right? So you want to keep it right here. Grab the back of your hand. Get close. And you're just going to twist. And make sure that your ribs are pushing into his, uh, his neck on the other side. Here. And it's not his neck. Be careful. Don't, you're not really trying to squeeze the neck muscle. You're trying to compress it. Right here. Okay? Right here. Right here. And then you're just going to... Okay. And if you want to practice a guillotine, a good way to practice a guillotine is to do it with one hand. You're going to go here like this, and you're just going to go like that. It's the rotation that, that causes the choke, right? Here. Nice. And what I'm doing is I'm jamming my, my ribs up there. This hand's already perfect, right? I'm just pushing my ribs into his neck on the other side, and then I turn. Okay. So if you want to practice, just so you understand the concept, right? If, and if you're not used to it, if you're used to doing it, the, I won't say the wrong way, but the way that uses too much strength, you're going to try to clench your fist and you're going to want to grab your hand because you want to do this, <laughs> right? Everybody, when they're first learning a guillotine, goes like that, okay? Like they're trying to yank the head out of the body. All you're doing is like that. Instead of like pulling up, you're rotating it. Okay. So butterfly guard, get your underhook, you're in close, all right? His head still I still gotta kinda jump up to get his head, right? So push, grab his chin. Okay, once you got his chin, this hand goes from here to here. Alright? Now this leg here, I'm gonna try to get out here. 
Okay, because I want to be able to rotate. You're going to put your put his head to the floor like this. Keep this foot in his hip here because he wants to jump across. And if he jumps across and gets there, you better let go of this, this choke right here or he's going to bond fluid. Right? I can't get my arm out of there. He's putting pressure on my neck on this side and my arm's trapped so he's going to choke you up. So you better let go if he jumps across. And it's just a, just a warning. Here. Push. Up. Connect your hands together. Nice space. All right, you, can put, you can go over the top like this. Or, see what I do is I put it on the floor and I keep twisting like that. But stay compressed and then just twist. Okay. okay. So you're trying to do a side crunch like this. Okay. And if you want to do the overhook too, you can do an overhook. Okay. Right. I get this overhook. Right. Um, and she, she might be pushing. A lot of times when you in this position, they post, they, they try to push you with the hands, or maybe you should pull some ground. Doesn't matter. But he's going to kick up here. Okay. Now. When you're in this position, you can decide what you want to do. You can switch here, like this, or you can do an arm in guillotine. Okay? And the concept's the same. You're going to keep this here, grab the back of your hand, pull it all in, but you have to, and actually, you don't even have to do that. Just hold on to this arm and lift it like this. Keep it on your shoulder here. Here, make space to get this leg through. Okay? Cover that space up, and then you're going to put her head to the ground. And then she feels like she wants to do a somersault, so that's why you might want to think about putting this leg over the top. Right? But it doesn't make too much of a difference because she, if she does do a somersault, that way. You can follow her here. You can let go of this. Right? Use it to base. You do a one arm mounted guillotine, just lay. It's a little easier actually because you're putting more, you're using gravity. Right? And then just twist. Very powerful. If you ever get to a mounted guillotine, again, don't don't do this. It's a, it's a turning motion. Okay. Right, so you can do an arm in guillotine if they stick their arm in. Right, if, if you get the order. So here, like this. You need to get her head low. Right, she's fighting. She's fighting, right? Fight, fight, fight. Yeah. Push here. Connect your hands together or don't. Just make sure you keep a hold of the chin like this right here. In your space, head to the ground, lift this up. There's a guillotine right there. She, can, she feels like she wants to flip, so go ahead. Okay? All right, so um, I would recommend if you're not used to guillotines or if you have done guillotines like this in the past. Okay, if you're used to doing that, uh, I encourage you to stop, <laughs> okay? Because uh, uh, it's not a good it's not a good technique. People will make fun of you for doing that, <laughs> and you might actually hurt your partner because they're not going to tap. They're not being choked, but you'll just crank their neck so bad if you're bigger than them that uh, uh, they'll, they'll hit you for yeah. um, So make sure you're you're doing it right. And like I said, if you want to practice just the guillotine me uh, mechanics, the movement. Put your hand on the chin, right? Adjust your upper body. That's more important than this right here at this point. So you jam your chest up against her uh, shoulder, open your hand, and then just twist. Okay. And it doesn't take a lot of strength. It's more this motion with your, with your core. Yeah. Okay? All right, let's do this one after one, two, three.